We're here in downtown Singapore, starting off at Lucky Plaza today for our shopping adventure. We're going to be looking for a couple of hidden stores that I've been told about from some locals on Instagram. But before we do that, we got to grab some food, man. Got to grab some breakfast, some brunch. And this little food court I found at Lucky Plaza had a bunch of different Asian cuisine. Me being a half Filipino, I needed my Jollibee. So let's see how Jollibee compares to the rest of the world. So this Jollibee meal in Singapore costs $7.50 Singaporean, so I'll have the conversions up on screen. We got a large pineapple juice right here. We also got the spicy chicken joy, my favorite, and the spaghetti. So now let's see how this compares to the Philippines Jollibee and Toronto's Jollibee. So I just had a couple of bites of the spaghetti and some of the chicken and I gotta say, I can confidently say that Jollibee tastes exactly the same whatever country in the world you are. So the very first store we're gonna hit up is called East 8 SG and it's right here in Lucky Plaza on Orchard Road. So it looks pretty cool. Looks like they have a decent selection of stuff based off their Instagram. So let's try and find the store right now and uh, check it out in person. So the first thing you see when you step into the store and look right is the heat wall right here. And as you guys can see, we have a ton of heat. We have a lot of the uh, recent Air Jordan ones that have come out that are worth a ton of money. We also have the Travis Scott ones, which are coming out in a couple of uh, weeks or a couple of days. We've got the Unions, we've got the Off-White UNCs, and then a lot, of, a lot of heat here. Surprisingly a lot of heat here, knowing that the sneaker culture in Singapore isn't too, too booming. So we've got some Air Force ones. I don't even know what these are. We've got the Supreme and we're up tempos. These are really, really nice. And of course, we got the Safari Air Max ones. Oof, these are fire. We got the beautiful, beautiful Slam Dunk 6s, a shoe I've been on the hunt for for the longest time. They have them right here, along with the Fear of Gods that came out not too long ago. Got some Jordan, I think, 28s, I believe. The Bamboos, maybe? We got some Balenciagas as well. Comme de Garçon Vans. We got some really strange Converse right here. It's like a teddy bear, essentially, giving me these like Jeremy Scott kind of vibe. We also got some Cloth 13s, I believe. Some more retros and some undefeated dunks down below. This is sick. They have a Fragment Pikachu keychain. Uh, I've never actually seen one of these in person before. I've seen the larger sizes, the ones that you can put on your like bed, but I didn't even know they made a keychain version. That's really cool. And they even have the off-white Air Force Ones in that frozen yellow colorway, the neon yellow colorway. I've never seen them before in the uh, infant sizing. That's actually pretty fire. They have a small selection of Supreme items as well. Now, Supreme isn't as big as uh, it is in Japan or North America, but in Singapore, there is still a little bit of love for it. So we have a couple of things right here, including some boxers. They even have, what's this, uh, off-white Evian bottle? I didn't even know that was a thing that existed. That's actually pretty cool. We got the uh, Bape. I think this is for like the, uh, what are those like candle things? I'm not sure what the exact name is. We also got some bags too. We got some headbands and more hats. And then we also have the umpire mask. So yeah, I wonder how much those actually go for. Those are pretty cool. So on the left side of the store, we have all of the retro Jordans, Nikes, Yeezys, all the heat that everybody wants. It's all organized pretty well as well. We have all the Jordan ones right here from the older releases from a couple of years back to even the newer ones. And oh, I love those yellow ones. I missed out on those when they released in Japan. Here we have some more Air Jordan ones. We've got the shattered backboards these satins. It's a shame they never released these in like men's sizes. I don't know why they just released them in women's, but it is what it is. We have these shelf sitters, the uh, the crimson pinks. Love these. I have a pair waiting for me back at home to rock in Toronto. Here's some more of the uh, GR, you could say, Air Jordan ones. These are like pretty much sitting everywhere. They have, I've never seen this colorway before. 
That's pretty cool. And then we also have the ones I am wearing on feet right now. SB Air Jordan ones. I picked these up and actually have a pair of these waiting for me back at home. I picked up two size 10.5s on Nike's website. So very, very happy about that. Checking out the Yeezy selection right here and the off-white runners. They have pretty much all of the dad shoe Yeezys. I have these, but I really don't wear them enough. So I'll probably sell them or trade them or something like that. We have the new packs that just came out. The, uh, I forget the exact name for this one but it's like a Beluga 3.0 almost. And then they have the Clays. The Clays have got to be my favorite from the pack that they did release. And then I think these are the Hyperspace. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but these are probably my second favorite. Pretty cool. We got the uh, the blue tints, the Beluga 2.0s, Sesame's, I believe, Frozen Yellows. I have no idea what these ones are, but these are, I like the color. I like the color, but I'm not really a fan of like the materials that they use. It really looks like a cloud though. It gives me like these cloudy day kind of vibes. We got some zebras, statics, and now, now on to the off-white selection. We have the, uh, the Air Force ones and oof, these are nice. These are straight fire. Doesn't look like they have the pricing readily available, so you have to ask the employees for the pricing, but I can assume these are a very, very expensive pair, so let's just let's just throw those back. We also got the uh, the black pair, we got the Serena Williams ones, I believe, as well. More blazers. We also got the Air Max 90 off-whites, straight fire. Really like these, and uh, Kevin actually has been wearing these over the last couple of days. We also got the Prestos, Jordan 4s here, the Travis Scotts, we got the Bread 4s that just came out. Can't find these in my size, which is really unfortunate, but they probably do have my size here. And then we have some more Air Jordans. I don't want to get into too much detail on these, but as you guys can see, they have a really, really good selection. Probably the best selection I've seen in Singapore in terms of these like heat Jordans that everyone's looking for. Here's a look at some more. No wrapping on these ones because they're not as heat as the other ones, but pretty cool. And of course, I gotta talk about the Raptors for us. They do have them. And shout out to Kawhi, who is really, really put it in work for the Raptors right now. They won the last game, and it's gonna be a very, very good playoff series, as you guys can already tell. Now in terms of clothing, they do have a bunch of clothing on this rack right here from Off-White and Supreme. So I'll show you guys a few of the pieces that they have. We have an Off-White hoodie right here. Very, very simple, nothing too crazy. The Supreme one right here is very, very, very loud. This is pretty cool. It's like an Apple and Palace collaboration. I'm pretty sure it's not a collaboration, but it's like an Apple inspired or Apple themed palace shirt right here. I actually had no idea they made this, so that's pretty interesting. We got some Supreme CDG right here. More Supreme. I guess I'll just run through these for you guys. Play some music and you guys can see uh, if there's anything that pops out to you. Ooh, they even have the Babe collaborations with MBA. These are fire. These are fire. I'm pretty sure they'd never made a Raptors one, but I wish they did. The Lakers one is pretty fire. And I know they made a Chicago Bulls one. We also have the football collabs. And we also have the uh, the Shark hoodie here as well. One thing I also just realized about the uh, like LED art that's at the very front of the store is that the one here is actually wearing Yeezys on feet. You wouldn't notice that actually on first glance. And then the one on the other side is actually wearing some, uh, what looks like to be some Jordans, some Air Jordan ones possibly. So that's actually really, really cool. Now with the Travis Scott ones being the most anticipated release in quite some time, I want to spend some extra time to talk about this particular sneaker. How do you guys, uh, how do you guys feel about the Travis Scott one? Are these a cop or are these a drop? Let me know with the poll up top right now in the top right hand corner. Are you going to try and buy them for retail? Are you going to pay resale? Or how many raffles did you enter? Love to hear what you guys think about the Travis Scott ones. I personally think these are straight fire.
So that was our time at East 8. Now the next store we're going to be going to is called Intruders. Now here it's a pretty popular sneaker store and it's just up the street. I'll have its uh, Google map locations on screen right now if you guys want to check it out. And then after that we're going to go to JD Sports, probably one of the bigger like sneaker stores here in Singapore. So we're almost to intruders right now and I gotta say before we get into the store Singapore is so freaking like magical the way the street is you have like half forest and have all this greenery right in the downtown core it reminds me a little bit about Harajuku but this is like all the greenery is on some next level like there's so much trees right here so it's really really refreshing to be in like a shopping area that is still very modern but has all these trees around it's, it's nice it's nice and also I saw a KFC back there so might have to stop by there, but for now, let's check out Intruders. Now I'm inside of the shopping center trying to find Intruders. No luck so far, but I did find another sneaker store called Iron, and it's a pretty big chain, I wanna say, in Singapore. There was one at Queensway last night, and they had pretty much all of the recent really good Ultra Boosts, like the Creams, the OGs, even the, uh, the trophy pack. So let's we'll check out Iron right behind me and see if they have any heat inside. So here's a look at the Ultra Boost 19s that they have. They have the cool navy blue and creams right here. Mess with these heavy. They also have these. I'm pretty sure this is a woman's colorway. And then here's a look at the other Ultra Boost. Check it out. All this right here. All Ultra Boost. So we got the uh, the Chinese New Year inspired ones. We got the white with the multi knit. Ooh, check it out. We got the OGs. Like I told you guys, like at Queensway, they got the OGs right here still available. You can't find these in Canada. They also have the uh, the limited edition gold trophy pack right here. I absolutely love these. And I guess we'll just quickly run through the rest of the Ultra Boost right here. These are pretty much all the Ultra Boosts that are available at all the other locations and other stores around the world. Got the silver ones still available. We got the bronze as well. Nothing really standing out to me too much besides those. But this store isn't like Full Locker or a Champs back in Canada. This store really focuses more on like performance running shoes. So there's a ton of different running shoes. Some of the other brands they have here are Puma, Reebok, Asics, Saucony, and um, Mizuno? The volleyball sneaker brand. I forget, I forget what. But basically, just a lot of athletic and performance sneakers. So if you're a hype piece looking for Jordans, they don't really have those here. So the employees over at Iron helped me out. They uh, told me where exactly Intruders is. It's on level three of this exact same shopping center, just in the far corner. And uh, one thing I've realized too is there's a lot of Filipinos working here in Singapore. I wasn't expecting to find as many Filipinos here, but it turns out that Singapore is like the melting pot of Asia. So similar to Toronto, how there's so many different cultures and backgrounds and everyone from all around the world comes here or to Toronto, uh, Singapore is basically the same thing, but here in Asia. So with that said, let's go find intruders and see what they We just stepped inside of Intruders. And I gotta say, I haven't seen this many bare bricks in one store in Singapore. It's pretty cool. Looks like they have a ton of different off-white here. A lot of off-white, actually. A lot of sneakers. And uh, yeah, let's just check it out and see what they have. It turns out there's more hype stores like this in the mall and it's owned by the same owner as well The employee here just told me so we're gonna stop by the other stores right after but for now Let's check out all that they have here to offer I had never seen this much off-white in one store in my entire life This store had more off-white than like the off-white stores in Japan The selection was really really good, but the prices were resale prices So a lot of these were out of my price range for the most part I pretty much would only buy off-white if it was used because you can find some pretty good prices if it's used But overall the selection and variety of off-white it was really really appalling was not expecting to find this much in one store and besides the streetwear they also had a small selection of sneakers so let me show you guys what they had at intruders so there really isn't too much footwear here in intruders i see some off-white i see some reebok so we'll take a quick little look at them we have these off-white sneakers right here and they have like that that off-white belt 
right there on the ankle. These are really cool. These are going for $890. And these scream off white. Um, it's really cool. I actually have never seen these off white shoes before. So pretty nice, but for that price point, it's a bit much for me. They also have the Vet Moss and Reebok collaborations. We have a black colorway right here. Never seen these before. But one, one collab that really caught my eye are the other uh, Vet Moss Reeboks. And they have like an emoji, like a kissing face emoji on the tongue. That's different. <laughs> I mean, I probably would like the shoe if it didn't have the uh, the emoji on it. It's a pretty clean sneaker, but the emoji just throws it off for me. I just I can't, man. I can't do it. They also have some Valentino sneakers down below. We got some grown man shoes too. I believe these are some Fear of Gods. These are very, very high cuts. Holy cow. Yeah, Fear of God, this is the mainline sneaker right here. I think these are going for like $1,000 or something like that. So out of my price range. And they have one colorway of the Balenciaga Triple S's here. Man, these things are huge. These are like the size of my face. Let me show you guys. And the, uh, the speaker they have here is like a dog speaker. It's cool. It's different. I've never had a, a dog play music before. Now besides the off-white selection that they have, they actually have a lot. Like there's a ton of off-white. They also have some anti-social social club right here. I don't really mess with the brand personally, but if it is your thing, they got you covered. They also have a cold wall. So actually I'll show you guys some of the anti-social social club, the ass club shirts. That one's not bad actually. So they have a lot of selection right here for Ass Club. We have a cold wall, the brand I just discovered because of the collaboration they did with Nike on those Air Force Ones. Really, really nice feeling pieces. Like the quality on these is really nice. And then they also have that Mont t-shirt. <laughs> t-shirt, and then it has the definition of the t-shirt on the back. That's uh, I think I've seen that kind of a thing before, but I think that Mont was one of the ones to really pioneer that. And then they have like a double layered white t-shirt, genetically modified. That's pretty cool. How much is this going for? $819 for this Vetmon shirt. Damn. They even have some designer here. We have Givenchy. We got places and faces in the back there as well. We also have a effing rabbits t-shirt for $200 smoking kills. So a few effing rabbits right here. We got uh, we got Vilone. We also have uh, Palm Angels. So a lot of different streetwear here and a lot of designer as well. And to wrap it all up, they actually have some LV here on display and for sale. And they also have the Fear of God collection as well. So if you're a part of the Jerry Boys, then they got you covered. So there was your look at Intruders. Now it turns out there's also two more stores right beside it that are also like resale shops, which we're gonna get into right now. Now I had no idea they were here, so this is a very pleasant surprise. Thanks for watching to the end of part one of this vlog. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up button down below. And of course, enter the Bape Sneaker giveaway. All the instructions for the Bape Sneaker giveaway are in the description of the video. So feel free to check that out or the pinned comment. Catch you guys in the next vlog. Ooh.